Hi, I'm Michael Sinoff, founder and CEO of HardToFindSeminars.com. For the last five years, I've interviewed the world's best business and marketing minds. Now my challenge is to build the world's largest free resource for online, downloadable audio business interviews. I've learned a lot in the last five years, and today I'm going to show you the skills you need to survive. Hi, it's Michael Senoff with HardToFindSeminars.com, and here is another exclusive consult for the Audio Marketing Secrets course buyers. It's with a gentleman out of the U.K. named Ian. Ian had an interest in developing and creating a product similar to what I have, showing people how to create and sell information products and making a specific focus on using audio. He also has several other ideas for different niche products that he wanted to run by me. You'll hear me giving him my best advice. We talk about a lot of different things. We talk about the pros and cons of delivering digital or physical products. So let's get going. Your email says, I'd like some help on topics as I've always struggled with choosing the right ones. Yeah, that's right. My experience and interests include audio, as you know, particularly audio info products, starting and running a bed and breakfast, which my wife and I did for four years, buying and renting out a holiday home, which we have done in the Canary Islands, Spain, music as I've been a semi-pro guitarist for more years than I can remember, and I would also like to discuss the pros and cons of digital delivery and physical CD shipping. Also, web copy for the products I intend to develop, which is another area I struggle with. All right. All of these, certainly developing an information product on how to develop information products with your experience in audio, I mean, I'm doing that right now, as you see. And it's going quite well. You know, there's a lot of interest in it, and everyone has an idea. And this is one of my best products I think I've ever put together. Yeah, I mean, I've been involved in, as I say, the music and the pro audio industry. So the actual recording side of things doesn't really faze me. I know what I'm doing there. That's a huge plus because it took you probably some time to get through that hurdle and learn how to edit and learn how to handle all the technical aspect of it. Yeah. And most people don't want to mess with that. And you know it enough where you could even you could train someone how to do it. It's not hard once you know what you're doing, right? Yeah. I mean, I suppose what it is is because I've always liked audio as a medium and I've always thought, well, is that kind of okay as a subject? Will that lead on to other topics, other material that I can release, you like releasing one product which then will lead on to another higher value product and that type of thing. Absolutely. It sure can. You know, it all starts with something. Most people start out with a little report or a book, but that can always lead into a full fledged seminar that sells for five, three, ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. What's the difference? The difference is in the value. The main value is established by the quality content. If someone goes to a seminar to give them just books and books and reams of information all written down, that's very difficult to do. That would take you years to do. But you can talk those reams into a microphone or interview experts on a subject and build that value very quickly, very easily, and then have it transcribed. So you can build the value in any information product you're thinking of doing, depending on the marketplace, and command high fees for that information. Do you think the topics that I've actually mentioned to you there, do you think they've all got potential? Well, certainly selling something that teaches people how to create an information product using audio, which is what I'm doing, has a huge potential because so many people have ideas. There's so many people already who are making efforts and who have made efforts to get their ideas out in paper. Most people are going to book route, e-books or yeah. published books. Yeah. But you can show them, as you've seen through my reports, you can show them how to increase the value in that and sell more and be able to deliver their message in a more convenient method that gets heard more often through audio. I mean, you understand that. Yeah. That's what Vic Conan said. That's the whole foundation of his whole company is that the audio format is so convenient, and that's what's made his company so successful. But that's what I like about it is you can medium. You can take it anywhere. It doesn't need your 
kind of 100% concentration like video is, where you've got to make the time and effort to sit down and watch it. You've seen in some of my emails, video is more powerful medium yeah. because it's affecting more emotions, but you don't have the chance to get your message to the listener with video as easily as you do with audio. No. You weigh that. You balance that. The most important thing is getting that message heard, yeah. and audio is going to do it better. Yeah. The reason I put down about the holiday home as well is that obviously that's has potential as far as I can see with the fact that, you know, it does kind of cape audience that have hopefully got at least some funds to, to spend their on products. And I've actually had a few people come to me and say, well, how do you do it? What do you do to get people to rent out your property? And that's what got me thinking about that. Okay, so buying and renting out a holiday home. So you own a holiday home in the Canary Islands? Yes, we do, yeah. Most of the year it sits empty, right? No, funnily enough, it actually is very booked up. It's that booked up. It's hard for us to get a couple of weeks to sell. Did you buy it as an investment or more as a second home for you to visit? It was a bit of both, to be quite honest. Investment and uh, come second home for us to visit. But my wife looks after that side of it as developing it and looking after the booking but I've looked after the website and the marketing you know it's just taken off this is the first year it's been available we had it March 2005 and it's almost all booked up throughout the summer how far is it from you it's in Spain and you're in the UK yeah the Canaries is about a four hour flight from the UK it's a Spanish dependency and it's made up of about three or four islands which are off the coast of North Africa. If you went straight across from where we are, Fort Aventura, you'd come to the Sahara Desert, basically. Okay, got it. So you would be marketing this to people who have holiday homes that are empty to show them how to turn those into streams of income? Basically, yes. I mean, people are just, you know, they want, obviously, to see some return on their investment. They don't want them sitting empty all year round unless it's specifically just been bought for them or their family. And you're able to handle this all without being there, all from the UK? Yes, we've got um, a representative on the island who actually handles all the day-to-day activities in contact by email, fax, telephone. Yeah, I know in the US there's service and management companies who handle that and they charge quite a fee for that. He doesn't charge like a monthly retainer, he charges when it's occupied basically. He goes in, looks after the security of it and the cleaning and the changing of the linen and towels, etc. And what does he charge you per week? He charges on a weekly basis probably around about 20 euros. 20 euros? That would be probably around about $30. He doesn't really overcharge you? No, not at all. No, we're very happy with his service. Oh, well, that's wonderful. This is the know-how and the information on how to do this. That's putting money in someone's pocket. There is a market for that. I guess your target is people who own holiday homes, but um, it's not a mass, mass market. It is a niche market, and you can locate and find people who own second homes. There are lists available for that, and you could either sell the information on how you do it or sell the homeowners on the server. If you're selling information on how to do it, you know, you're going to be marketing to people all over the world, I guess. Here in where I live, which is on the east coast of the UK, it's kind of a pretty little seaside village. And we have, in the main town itself, so full of holiday homes from London by holiday homes here and from other parts of uh, the country. You know, I don't like it as much at creating information products. The hottest one of the lot. Yeah, I think so. Your market isn't as big. And also, the information products, the technical stuff is a barrier to keep people from doing it themselves. But, you know, if someone owns a home and they're bright enough to know how to buy a home, I do believe that it's crossed their mind that if they really wanted to rent it out, they could figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's doable. I don't think it's as good as the information product because they look in the yellow pages. They can look in for home rental. I think there's potential, but not maybe as much. Hi, it's Michael Senoff with HardToFindSeminars.com. Thanks for watching this video. You know, many of my interviews last 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, sometimes even up to two and a half hours long. They're actual mini seminars, and you've just listened to a short sample of just one of over 117 hours of exciting, hard-hitting, mind-blowing interviews on how to make money in direct mail, advertising, copywriting. I assure you, there is not a resource anywhere 
anywhere on the Internet or on the planet that comes close to the free information I provide at hardtofindseminars.com. So go right now to hardtofindseminars.com, and you'll have free access to 117 hours of audio interviews with typed word-for-word downloadable transcripts and downloadable MP3 files. Please browse some more of the videos or go right directly to hardtofindseminars.com. Thanks for watching.